It was the hottest day of the year, and the longest for me. I'd been at work all day, and it was hard. I spent all that time thinking, wondering, why? Why was the crime rate so high? Why were our leaders so corrupt? Why was Jason Nash so popular, and why on earth was I wearing the suit to serve Happy Meals at Burger King? There were too many questions. I arrived home at 7.37 p.m. After a long, hot, dripping, wet day, I needed a drink. So I grabbed an unbranded cola from the fridge, because I'm not sponsored by Coke, and swallowed it hard. It was then that I saw the note that was slid gently under the door. It was addressed to me. Someone had the answers, and I needed to find out who. Before I could leave, I needed a shave, a shower, and a change of clothes. I said I needed to change. What's wrong with you people? I arrived at the rendezvous point. I made sure I wasn't followed. The place looked ordinary, but beyond that door, I anticipated something more extraordinary. Hello, mate. Hello and welcome to The Busy Man's Guide with me, Paul Adams. Now, it's been a while since I've done any kind of photography tutorial or anything like that, which is originally what this channel was for. So why don't you follow me and we'll do that today. If I can get up. So we're here out in this, it was sunny. It's been sunny and cloudy, sunny and cloudy, but that's absolutely fine. We're in Steve's mum and dad's back garden where we've spent a lot of time over the last 10 years. Now, one thing I haven't done in the channels, which I should have done, was address the competition that I did a few weeks ago. So I'm going to announce the winner of that hidden word competition. And the winner is no one, because none of you took part. So uh, nobody wins the, uh, the Amazon voucher, but I will put the answers at the end of this video. So if you look at the end, then you can see uh, what the answers were. And I'll do another competition another time when more of you are interested. So the thing that we're going to do today is we are going to do low-key photography outside in the open. The idea is that we want to have a kind of a film noir sort of sort of look to it. So it's uh, it's all low-key with a little bit of light. And it's quite dramatic, uh, kind of Sam Spade, that type of thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to do two stages. There's loads of ways to do this. And, you know, we could get into it for, for ages. You could do it in, in post-production. You could do it in camera. The way we're going to do it today is with a flash and without a flash. We're not talking high speed sync, we're just talking a normal sync up with the camera. So all we're gonna do is use the flash first. Okay, what I'm about to tell you, you can find lots of information elsewhere on, on other vlogs and, and, and within the internet. So I'll just give you the basics of this. What we're gonna do to use the flash version of this is we're gonna turn the ISO as low as we possibly can. We're gonna have the highest shutter speed that we can. In this case, because we're using flash, it's going to be 250th of a second. We're also going to keep the aperture as narrow a field as we can. So around about F22, something like that, because we need it to be as dark as we can, because we don't want the background in. And we need to then adjust the flash to be able to bring in the light for the picture so that we can get that person in focus. So we're going to use John first. So John, here you go, mate.
One of the problems that you might get when you're shooting in the sun, and we've covered this before, is that there's a lot of ambient light coming in, so you're not really clearing that background and making it too dark. So in that case, because you can't get that shutter speed up above 250th of a second, you can use a variable ND filter, which, as we've said before, works just like sunglasses for your camera, and you can change it to make it lighter or darker, depending on what you want, and that's what we've used for that final shot. So that was with flash, but what if you don't want to use flash? Well, you can do it, and it is simple, and it is possible as well, no matter what other people tell you, but you might have to do a little bit of jiggery-pokery in, in post as well. All you'll need to do is make sure that you've got a background that is in shadow. In this case, we didn't actually have too much shadow because there's too much sun. So we've used this black netting from, from a trampoline cover. That works perfectly as well. What you want to do is put your camera on spot metering as well because that will focus in on the exact target and ignore everything else around it. And of course, you need the highest shutter speed that you can. So we put fill into this situation and this is what we got. So there you go, that does bring us to the end of the Busy Man's Guide for another beautiful sunny day in the British summertime, which is unheard of really. If you want to see how we edit those photos, Steve's going to do a whole tutorial on that on his channel, so make sure you click the link to his channel, give him a like, subscribe to his channel, because uh, he needs some love as well. And if you want to find out what the answers were to those hidden words in the I'm Not Inspired video, then click on the video on the end screen at the end of this video. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on anything. And remember, stay sharp, stay focused, and stay busy. Okay. Stay sharp. Stay focused. Stay busy.